Cleaning the kitchen all the time, every night, and cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I hate cleaning. What did the chef say? Hurry up, we want to go home. Hurry up. I'm not a stupid cleaning lady. I'm a cook. Ugh. I'm a cook. I wanted to cook, not to clean the kitchen all the time. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ow! Ow! Fuck. Too dumb to clean. Ow! Too dumb to clean. It's 80% cleaning. Cleaning the floor, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the cold storehouse. I'm a cook. Oh, fuck. The only thing I wanted to do is to make people happy. To cook, to make people happy, to make myself happy. And it's not going to work out. Yeah, okay, maybe people are happy. But it's not me. What am I doing here? Fuck. What am I doing here? The only thing I ever wanted is to be on stage. The only thing I ever wanted is to dance and sing and act and make people happy and make myself happy. But I'm not sure if I can do it anymore. I'm not sure. What if I take out this costume and there's nothing left? I'm scared. I'm scared. What if I take out this uniform and there's nothing left? But I only can't find out if I do it. I only can find out if I do it. If I take off my uniform and see what's left. Too dumb, too dumb, too dumb to clean. Too dumb, too fat, ugly, dumb, fat and ugly. I'm not dumb, fat and ugly. And I don't want to be it anymore. Dumb, fat and ugly. Dumb, fat and ugly. It's still there. It's still there. It's always been there. But can I still do it? Can I still do it? I gotta try. I gotta try, I gotta try, I gotta try. <sighs> Exciting, exciting, exciting. I don't know if I can do it still. a little time maybe 
It takes a little time. But everything is still there. Everything is still there. So if you have a dream, if you have a deep inner dream, it will always be there, always. And it's waiting for you. It's waiting for you. And it will ask, are you ready now? Are you ready now? And if you say, no, I have to do things, and I'm busy, and ask later, and I don't know, now I can't do it. Then the dream is all right. It says, okay, I'm waiting a little bit. <laughs> I'm waiting, and I ask later. And then the dream comes back and says, are you ready now? Are you ready now? And if you say no, the dream will come back and back and back till you do your last breath. The problem is, if you wait too long, you can't really live it. If you're waiting too long, you don't have any time to live your dream that you have inside. And the thing is, if you start opening this door, you will find magic behind. Because that's what happened to me. I did my apprenticeship as a cook, and I did study hotel management, and I did work as an event manager. And always the dream comes and says, are you ready? All the time, are you ready now? I said, oh no, my mother said, there's no money in it artist, actress, there's no money in it. So I did apprenticeship, studied, I started working, and the dream always comes and asks, are you ready now? Are you ready now? And once I was ready, I was scared. I was ready, but I was scared, and I did take my first steps. And I opened this door called acting. And I found what was behind the door. Everything I am today was behind this door. I only had to open it. Dancing, singing, acting, moderating, coaching, helping people on stage is my profession. Speaking, writing a book, everything came after I opened the door. And what, what was amazing is that going this way, I'm so happy that I had all these steps before, <laughs> that I am a cook. I love cakes and pastry and ice cream and pralines, and my family is happy that I can make it. <laughs> so everything you did before you start going on to your dream is really worth living it. So don't do the mistakes to say, well, the five years, ten years, whatever I did before was rubbish. It is never. It prepares you for the next steps. It prepares you, it makes you stronger, and you learn a lot of things. So the good thing is everything you did till now is really worth it. And now comes the challenge to follow your dreams, if you're not already following it. Maybe there's some new dreams, or maybe there's some secret dreams you're scared of. And I have an exercise for you, which I really love, and which really helped me very often. Because you have voices outside, and voices that tell you, oh, you don't earn money with it, it's not good, do different things, you're not good enough. But your inner voice, knows better. So what you can do now, please, sit on your chair, place both feet on the ground, and close your eyes, and calm down. And feel your heart beating. And what you do now is place your both hands on your heart, and you can feel it beating. Your heart is beating. It's keeping you alive. It's keeping your dreams alive. And if you have now one very, very important question about what are you doing tomorrow, next year, what about your dreams, whatever the very important question is, you can now ask, Ask yourself this very important question. 
And maybe there's not really an answer, but a feeling. A feeling that guides you the way to your answer. And the feeling, the answer you will receive is a good feeling, is an exciting feeling. You feel that you can do it. And if there's a voice coming, you can ignore voices that say, well, you're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to do. You just ask your question, receive the feeling, and you know what to do. And sometimes it takes hours and years and ages, but it will lead you to yourself and to your dreams. And whenever you have an important question, whenever you have struggles, whenever you have fear, then you can do this, both feet on the ground. You can even do it while standing. Both feet on the ground, place your hands to your heart, feel the heartbeat, feel your breath, ask yourself the question, and you will receive the answer and follow your way. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And thanks, Irina, for guiding me. <laughs> and I wish you a happy life, a life of your dreams. I wish you lots of love. And I wish you be bold and brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you.